You got plenty of room in the back because it's a wagon. Put lawn chairs back there, picnic baskets and blankets. Have bring, a day. Bring your picnic basket. Bring your picnic basket and don't let Yogi, Yogi Bear steal it. I just want to take a nap and relax. Go ahead and go back there. Put that old seat down. Yeah, I could lay down on the back seat. It's big enough. It's like a twin size bed. It is. Ready? I'm ready, Freddy. Hello, everybody. I'm Christopher. The guy behind the camera is always Jake the Snake, and this is Fast Lane Classic Car. Jake, take it away. Oh, my lord. Thumbnail. Thumbnail it is. All right, you ready? I'm Hi ready. Guys, I'm Christopher. That guy over here, he's Jake the Snake, and this is Fast Lane Classic Cars. Take it away, Jake. Heck yeah, it is. 15 minutes outside St. Louis to the west. I'm going to stick the phone number above our heads. Look at it. Remember it. Write it down. Learn Call it, us it. about this 56. Yep, Chevy 56. Nomads. It is. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's black. I love it. Also, like and subscribe. I'm going to put that above our heads because uh, when you like and subscribe, it helps us help you, help us help you. And when you subscribe, click the bell because then you get notified when we make cool stuff like this. And also comment because I like to read those, but Chris doesn't know how to read, so he won't so get I don't back read. To you. So, 1956 Chevy Bel Air Jet Black. It's a three on the tree, or as we put, a three speed manual column shift transmission. It's got a factory odor, overdrive, which we'll show you in their driving portion. 10 bolt rear end, two tone black and white interior. We believe to be original. It is pretty great. Wait until you see it on the inside. He's got fabulous B roll to look at. It's got a modern AM FM retro radio front. Oh, it's got power front brakes. Nice. And their disc. Oh, uh, look at that. Yeah, look at the hubcaps. I love these hubcaps. Yeah, I love we, everything uh, about it. So we put these wheels on. It had some American racing wheels on it before. Just didn't really fit the car. These are a little more classic looking. A little more fitting, and we also put these super awesome white walls on it, kind of bring it all together. I mean, the amount of chrome on this thing, all the way down the side, big chrome bumpers, Dagmars. I think they're still Dagmars up to this point, kind of like the Cadillacs in the 40s. Yes. Poking off the front of the bumper, chrome across the hood. This big old hood ornament, love probably it. one of my favorite hood ornaments ever fitted to a vehicle. The Rocket Age, I love it. But uh, I mean, this thing's epic. Like you said, Jet black. it's gorgeous. I think the interior is original. Like you said, I mean, it looks, looks pretty original. It's a little older looking, <laughs> but the fact that you have an original interior is worth it, in my opinion, and it looks great. Like you said, upgraded radio, sounds awesome. You got a clock, big old steering wheel. I mean, oh yes, in the back hatch. Love this. It opens up. Oh. It's a split tailgate. Yes, Look it's, at this. it's pretty heavy because it's a lot of steel. And also, the window portion is held up by modern struts. Oh, how cool is that? Gas struts. Really so nice. you don't have to do the whole clicky thing and trying to get it undone. It's just struts and they work really well. They hold it up just fine. And then you just Ooh. close it right back up like that. I mean, this car is gorgeous. I it drives it. good. Let's find Three out. on the tree, you don't get that very often, but. Three on the tree. I'm ready to take it for a ride. You want to start let's, it up? Let's go, let's go. You don't think so? Oh, real quick. It has a 265, what, V8? V8. Okay, I don't know if we said but that. We had to tell you about the 300 tree. But that's, what, that's what's in it. I'll tell you what. Tell me why. Winter, our detailer, spent a lot of time on this car. I, yeah, you have. And it was worth it because this black paint is like a mirror finish now. It is glorious. It looks spectacular. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's a quick clutch. Yeah, you the know clutch. How the release is going to be. I don't know if the clutch is new or what, but I mean, it catches like really nice. Really nice. Wow. Kind of got to get used to it. to drive. Yeah, it's floaty, of oh, course. Yeah. Pretty comfortable. Here's that big old speaker on my side. I love this about Bel Air's. The hump in the dash, it's mirror image of the driver's side, and you got the gold Bel Air badge in it with the clock right below it. Super uh -huh. cool. There's the upgraded radio, but it still looks 
pretty Great. old, so it fits the rest of the interior, which is nice. Uh, fan controls down here. And then there's the overdrive. Oh. This little pole down here. That's pretty cool, an original overdrive. That's crazy. It is crazy. Factory. Factory. And for an original interior, it's in really good condition. Oh, it is. It's amazing. There's a couple little tarries on the... Uh, oh, it's gonna happen. The sun visors. And a couple little spots on the headliner, but it's not drooping anywhere, it doesn't look like. You got all the chrome strips, too, still, which is just cool. Yes. You got a little stain here on the back seat, but not huge. But other than that, it's still comfy. It's like sitting on a couch. It is. A big couch. I feel like I'm at my grandma's house right now. But we're driving a car. A big car. It's a, a big, big car. Oh, the blinker works. It does. See it blinking there on the dash. I also love the Speedo. I do Super too. cool. Second gear action. Oh, oh yeah. It's now we're going to spin, but yeah. Yeah, we're not going to spin the tires <laughs> no. with only 265 cubic inches. And uh, two tons. But it's Please. a cruiser. It is. I love it. Look at this big hood. I would love to take this to shows. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, right now it's spring, so this would get covered in pollen in about 10 seconds. Ah, I know. That's the thing. Thank God Winter from our detail department got it clean. Right. But it'll be needing cleaning once we get back. Yeah. Damn shame. Boy, it really drives nice. It handles nice. Do we have power steering? You know what? I think we do have power steering because it's effortless. Even if we don't, that big steering wheel, you probably couldn't even tell that you didn't because of how effortless it makes the steering. It's so nice. Oh, it shifts smooth. It does. How about our horn action? Oh, of course. <laughs> we got a horn. <laughs> That's funny. And I love the big, the whole chrome ring in the middle is your horn there. You just press anywhere on it and the horn goes off. That's so cool. It and is cool. 1956. Huge back seats for real people. Real you people. You can fit three full-size adults. There's that little spot I was talking about. Not really a big deal. That might even come out. Plus if you storage. You scrub it hard enough. Oh, wow. A lighter. Yeah, you got a cigarette lighter right there in case you want to take up smoking. Don't do it. But don't smoke. Smoke tires, not cigarettes. Although this one probably won't smoke tires. I don't think so. Got a glove box here. Nice and big, which for is gloves. nice with your tire pressure sticker still in there. For gloves, oh, no yes. No way. No way. It's got the tire pressure sticker. Oh, grand. You can cruise in this thing. Oh, yeah. Nice gears in the rear. Get on a nice day like this. It's about 65 degrees. Cruises, doesn't even matter how far. You could go a long ways in this thing and still be comfortable to a show, a car show. Absolutely. Hang out. You got plenty of room in the back because it's a wagon. Put lawn chairs back there, picnic baskets and blankets. Have bring, a day. Bring your picnic basket. Bring your picnic basket and don't let Yogi. Yogi Bear, steal it. But man, this thing's really this, nice, actually. This is great. I just want to take a nap and relax. Go ahead, go back there. Put that old seat down. I could lay down on the back seat. It's big enough. It's like a twin-size bed. It is. Shift smooth. Man, it does. It's a really nice car. I wasn't sure how it would shift. Three under three, you never know. Really nice. I'm pretty damn impressed with it. I do say so, but damn so. I mean, you got power brakes. We think power steering. It's got to be. It's Yeah, with how effortless you're using yeah, it, it has I to mean, be it's powered. Silly. It's so comfortable. I mean, we're hitting bumps and stuff like we do on the race cars. Are we? Drive. Yeah, I know. You can't tell. It floats. It floats. Could not tell that we were hitting any bumps this entire time. No, I'm going to run over some. Just kidding. Yeah, we're not going to do that. And I mean, too nice. after we oh. put the white... Oh, wow. Oh, brakes these are brakes good. are fantastic. Pardon me. After we uh, put those white walls on it, it really brought it to the next level. This it thing did. is awesome. Bean test? Not gonna be a whole lot of beans. It's like driving Miss Daisy. It is. It's calling me Hoke. Here we go. 35 miles an hour Heck and we're yeah. there. <laughs> I'm not gonna win any races, but no, we're not. it's not what we're here for. This is not what this car is built for. It's just too cool. And that hood ornament up there, just the coolest. Love it. I love it working. Cutting through the too. air. It's for aerodynamics, I bet. Absolutely. This thing is... <laughs> Keeps it stable with Can those wings coming up. This in a, a tunnel. Good go. A wind tunnel. It'd be like a brick hitting it. A big, huge Might not brick. be as bad as you think. It's kind of a curvy vehicle. It's very curvy. Did we just hit a pothole? I couldn't tell. <laughs> you can't tell. I may have ran over a duck. You we hit that tell. in a lifted Jeep the other day, and I felt it more than this. Oh, thing. my God. That lifted. Anyway, let's not even discuss it. Let's discuss this uh, one. 
You want to do some flybys? Some very nice flybys. Yes. They'll be as fast as I can get them. Isn't it weird that I cannot tell if it's got power steering or not? Because the steering is effortless. It's a wide steer, I'll give you that, but it's real effortless, man. It's got to be yeah, power Yeah, it's a uh, turning circle was not a strong point back <laughs> no. in 1956, but also, the parking lots were also the size of oceans, so it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, this is a great, great big car. I really like it. It's beautiful. I love the interior. It drives like a dream. Let's, let's drive it back. Let's go.